YouTube! What's going on, guys? I just made this whole video. Gotta remake it again. Let's get right into it. Incest. Let's have the conversation. Consensually, and they agree to use the proper protection, not conceive a child. What, what reason can you give me that that's wrong? You, you, like, you, it, besides just saying it's icky or weird. Yeah, you guys will just say it's icky. It's incest. Yeah, but, but what is bad about it? Assuming they can't have children and assuming there was no power dynamic growing up. Even if they're, even if they're blood related. It's the same blood. What, why is that? A, that's not a moral argument though. You know what I mean? It's literally illegal. So it being illegal makes it morally bad. There have been many things in human history that have been illegal that I don't think we could argue are morally bla uh, bad. Someone said it's fucking consensual. Okay, incest. <laughs> I'll have this conversation again. Let's start with the, my basis be behind all this. So if you were to talk about incest, right? If you were to talk about um, a brother and sister doing things with each other and they use contraceptives, is that morally wrong? I would still say yes. Using a contraceptive means you're not trying to have a baby. So the only purpose behind you, yeah, the only purpose behind you having sex would be to, what, be pleasure, right? So the only purpose between you, the only purpose for you having sex with somebody would be pleasure in that case with the brothers and sisters using contraceptive. So therefore, to me, yes, that'd be morally wrong. So there's the, there's the top part. So conversation over almost, right? Okay, so let's say in a weird world that they could get married, right? And they didn't use contraceptives. Would it be wrong? Well, yes, because you having a baby, knowing that it could have a, it had an extreme, well, maybe not say extreme. It had a much greater um, chance of having defects, being born um, with way more defects, putting at a severe disadvantage. I don't think that's right. You shouldn't be doing that with a brother or sister, knowing that you would be doing that, right? That would make it morally wrong, right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> the other concept. If they were stepbrother, stepdaughter, stepsister, uh, stepfather, stepstuff. If you were in a family, right, and I had a daughter, and here that would be that would be an authority of thing, and it would be wrong there as well. But if I was a stepfather, well, here's the thing: if I'm a stepfather, the only way I could be is normally be a stepfather to a daughter, or something like that. It means I'm married to their mother, right? So that would be adultery. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. Right, so how that's supposed to work? I, I don't know a lot of stepfathers who are stepfathers. Now, let's say the mother passes away, or right, but then you would still become their legal guardian. So a father having sex with his legal daughter, this would be weird, right? Once again, that's a direct. That would be a an authority thing. Having sex with somebody you have authority over, that would make it to me morally wrong. Still there, right? Now, obviously, if the mother was to pass away. And you don't take, you don't adopt these kids and these kids are no longer yours and you happen to be of age and this daughter is no longer your daughter, then there's nothing binding you guys. So there's a lot of conversation to have, but the real conversation it sounded like this dude was having is that the incest was between a brother and sister. And I would say, yeah, obviously that would be wrong of the, for the reasons I just mentioned. So I don't know why people want to argue this, but here's my background. And I know I'm not doing a perfect argument, trust me. I make a lot of videos, so this, I'm sure I've had better versions of what I just said. And if I messed up here, just know that I can defend myself. I don't mind going back over this in the comments. Um, but the reason I think this conversation even gets brought up to me is because pornography, and let's just be real, pornography has really pushed incest. It truly has. So there is uh, one of the top categories, I believe, in Pornhub which is getting sued like crazy. Shut that place down. Okay? Criminal enterprise, you know how it feels, allegedly. Um, but Pornhub has these categories, and I believe incest is within the top five. Um, for some reason, stepfather, stepmother, mother and son, father and daughter is something that people tend to like. I think it has a lot to do with taboo, right? Because the more porn people indulge, the more taboo it becomes. The more they look at pornography, the more they are going to want to look at darker things that they would consider taboo because that's how pornography works. It is an evil atrocity that will continue to erode you, 
morally. It's going to erode you mentally, emotionally. Porn doesn't have any good effects that you can even think of. Because anytime somebody reports being a porn addict, what do they feel? More lonely, more depressed. Porn is more open and free to the community in America more than ever. And look at what it's done to society. You got more people wanting to be girls. You got more people who want to be trans. And the only reason I bring that up is because the director of The Matrix had mentioned that the reason he wanted to be a trans is because he was looking at so many... He was looking at so much trans porn. And there were studies that came out about the uh, um, hypnotizing porn that the more men looked at trans porn and looked at sissy porn, which is just a humiliation version of that, the more they wanted to be trans, right? And then we got more people who are coming out becoming um, more lonely, right? You see less men having sex today, especially less men dating, and a lot of less men even uh, engaging in relations with the opposite sex at all. You see more men are depressed, it's just eroding us slowly and slowly. You got more women today who are just willing to be promiscuous, who don't want to even have sex with average guys. They just want to have sex with the same old guy every day. And more, more women are, are not dating today because they feel like men aren't up to par. And men are starting to not become up to par because less men are even talking to women. You got women who got these OnlyFans. Think about this. One OnlyFans model can have six, 60,000 men following her and paying her money. That's 60,000 men taken off the market right there for women. And obviously those men are looking at other OnlyFans models. And these OnlyFans models are thinking, oh, this is so empowering for us women, when really they're not helping the situation. They're just making more men lonely. They're just profiting off of it, right? And some of the, a lot of these times, one, OnlyFans also deals with, you know, allegedly deals with minors, pimps, prostitution, people being forced. The same thing you find in any porn world. That's also an issue for the women and men in that uh, field. But also going back to profiting off of the lonely men. Y'all see what is happening with the AIs, right? So you've got women now who are pretending to talk to men, right? They're sending them personal messages, right? When normally you might be talking to an AI or you could easily be just talking to somebody who's an admin, such as their boyfriend, husband, mother, father, best friend, some guy off the streets that's getting paid to do it. You think you're talking to her or him and you're talking to nobody. So we can see how porn can fall into all these different categories. So, of course, we're starting to have the conversation. Of, well, I don't see people having a conversation about incest, but I can see why people think it's OK and they want to defend it because it's, it seems so normal now. But if you are a mother thinking about having sex with your son, if you're a single mother, assuming that you're not married to the father, and you don't think that's wrong. Something's wrong with you. If you're thinking about having relations with your brother or sister and you don't think there's anything wrong with it, you need therapy. There should never come a time where that should become normalized. But people want it. Not saying in mass, but there are people who want it. And we already know, and you better keep your eyes peeled. There's a reason that this video was doing well. Not my video, the video we just watched. There will come a time where incest will come up, okay? That will become part of that flag. We know how many letters are in the LGBT right now. I believe it is LGBTQIA+, plus two. L, I mean, uh, two S N B G N D. That is how many letters I think we're sitting at right now. That's crazy. They just keep adding people and adding and adding. And now they've added children to it, which is the acronym I just gave you. Um, non-gender diverse and also, um, for us, uh, non-gender diverse and for children of the youth. Hold on, let me uh, pull that up real quick. Because I got it right here. Uh, uh, Non-binary and other gender diverse children and youth. That's 2STNBGD. That's added to the already, what, seven letters we have? So we're sitting at what? Dang near 11 to 12 letters? Come on now. And they're going to add incest in there. If y'all think that ain't going to happen, y'all crazy. And bestiality will be added in there eventually. If we don't start talking. But we are talking. So this could be a video that it never gets there. But I can guarantee you, if we let this road keep sliding down, incest and bestiality will be added to that LGBT. Because they added autism to the LGBT. I mean, what? Come on, baby. They're trying to add autism. Why? We got a video coming for that. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this incest. Y'all think it's right? Think it's morally wrong? 
once again, I gave my basis just to recap if you didn't get it. If you if you say the argument is, well, what if they're not trying to have children? So there's nothing wrong if, about having a child that's you know born with a defect. So how is that wrong? Um, I would say having sex outside of marriage is wrong. One, uh, having sex without the intentions of having a child would be wrong, meaning you're using it with contraceptives, meaning you're trying to stop a natural process from happening. Um, so yeah, I would find both of those wrong. Those would give my basis to make it morally wrong to begin with. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.